me, motherfucker. Come on now. Ah, come on, I'll tell you what. Uh, Jesus Christ, you big uh, weird mute and uh, turtle thing. You better be telling me you stumped the dumb man. Here, the weird nasal hairs coming out your nose. That is a mustache. Uh, that is not the nasal hairs. What is wrong with you? Hey. You best be telling me, motherfucker. How in the hell it is you've got Mario up in this VR in the first person? Did, did you watch a part one of the guide? What guide? Ah, okay, never mind. We have part two now, eh? Come, come, come. I, I show you, I show you. Stop with the fireballs and the gnashing of the teeth there. Jeez. Uh. Yeah, look at this. Okay, uh, first thing you got to do. Right click on the game. Go to properties. Scroll down to the editor config. Okay. Okay. Now, if you go to the link in the description, you will see our config. Copy that and paste it in. Oh, okay. Right. Now, press the properties again. And look at all of these codes. Make sure you press the same codes that we have pressed in the yes. Look in the three different tabs. Pause the video if you need to. Well, what is with that accent? What? What's with your accent? Okay. Next thing you got to do, you got to change these settings. You go to config. Advanced. Override the CPU. Now, depending on your system, this may... You may need to tweak it slightly, plus or the minus, but this is what works for us. Okay, go to graphics. Make sure these settings are exact, yeah? Okay, assuming you've done everything correctly, when you start the Mario Sunshine, uh, you should see you are in the first person perspective, eh? But because of how it often operates, it only saves the camera position forward and back, not left, right, or up and down. Luckily you won't need to tweak so much, but you may need to tweak slightly. So just move your character around and you can kind of see where you are in position to your camera. And you can adjust it. How can you adjust it? I was just about to ask, motherfucker. Okay, look at that screen, yeah? Press and hold the shift key. Now. Standard FPS controls, W, A, S, and D. This moves your camera forward, back, left, and right. Q and D move your camera up and down. So you can adjust it, uh, fine tune it how you like. Uh. Okay. Okay, once you have the camera where you want, uh, and you're in a good position for Mario, you will need to make him disappear, otherwise his head will be clipping into your view every so often and uh, that can take you out of the experience. So in order to do that, press and hold this key and then press left or right on your D-pad. This will make Mario disappear and reappear. That's it, now you can play the Mario uh, Sunshine in the VR. Oh, thanks man. Yeah, see, you didn't have to be so rough, you big ninja turtle reject uh, spirit Halloween looking motherfucker. Oh, there's no need to be so mean, man. Damn. you. The Horrified Games. What's up, Leo? Yeah. Ed, living dead, talking to you. Coming to you live with Daigo in Glorified Games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? Shit, it's alright, homie. So what are we doing today, my man? Mamma mia! Your mama what? Ed, we're back with part two of Super Mario The Orc Ball Stars. Oh yeah. So I'm talking about, homie. Yeah. So in part one we covered Super Mario 64 and Vior, and we covered some issues, that being the perpetual black sky and issues with sound synchronization. Now since that video 
I may have found a fix for the sound synchronization. There appears to be a 60 FPS code out in the wild for Super Mario 64. Now this was made with the N64 hardware in mind, so I don't know if I can translate it over, but I'll certainly give it a go. And I haven't made any look on the texture replacement for N64 ROMs front just yet, but I'm not giving up. That being said, we're going to move on to part 2 now, which is Super Mario Sunshine, and the series will conclude with Super Mario Galaxy. So as you can see, we are now in the world of Super Mario Sunshine, we are in first person, and we are in VR, 6 degrees of freedom. Now we do not have motion controls as this is a GameCube game. Can it be done? In a manner of speaking it can with 3 off controls. If you want to know how I've done that before, you can check out my guide for Luigi's Mansion first person VR. So what is Super Mario Sunshine? Well it started off life as Super Mario 128. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> this was the follow-up of Mario 64, hence Mario 128. Oh, I see. Well, it's not exactly true. Mario 128 turned out to just be a tech demo, where there was 128 Marios interacting on screen at once, and this was to showcase the GameCube power, basically, of its processor. But many assumed this was an actual game title and a follow-up to Mario 64, as that was the convention back in the time. Every console leap, the figure of bit doubled. Okay, so let me explain. There's the 8-bit era, and then there's a jump to the 16-bit era, and a jump to the 32-bit era, 64-bit, and you know, so on and so forth, so double 64, 128. So people assumed Mario 128, this was the sequel to the N64 title, Mario 64. So the technology showed off in that Mario 128 demo did eventually become what's known today as Super Mario Sunshine. Now, Super Mario Sunshine is a little divisive. Yes, it is a huge technological leap from Mario 64, it retains a lot of the gameplay elements from Mario 64 that worked really really well. It adds to them, in my opinion adds to them really well, but it also adds a gimmick of the flub system or the, this water gun system, which I really liked, but a lot of people thought this is not really Mario. But I digress, it, of course it is. Every Mario title to date has had some kind of gimmick where, you know, you can pick up a feather and suddenly he's a raccoon Mario or... <laughs> You know, he's got a hat that can make him fly, or... I don't know, there's many examples of Mario using tools in games. It's, it's nothing new. But this uh, flub system kind of took center stage and became a major game mechanic. Now, I absolutely love it, and I know many people out there who absolutely adore Mario Sunshine also. But there are many people who look at it and kind of go, mm, it's not Mario enough, it's, it's a great game, but it's not Mario. You know, that can be down to all the cutscenes also, as they're all voice acted for the first time ever. Well, apart from one or two lines of Mario 64, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, Mario Sunshine had full CGI cutscenes. Everything about it felt like a step forward, but maybe it was too ahead of its time back in 2002 when it released. Who knows? Now, it's almost universally enjoyed, but when it came out, it was divisive. So, Super Mario Sunshine really showed off the GameCube's power at the time. You could have many characters on screen at once. It was a sight to behold, an absolute joy to play. It was hard as nails also though, it was a really really tough game. Especially because you had to learn these new mechanics of the flood system, as well as Mario's new moves etc. There was a lot going on under the hood. Yoshi, a hell of a lot he had to kind of learn, relearn, get used to. But a huge improvement over the N64 was the controller. The GameCube controller is still loved to this day, and it makes perfect use of that. Now obviously we're playing this on top of the ore, we don't have a GameCube controller. You can of course connect the GameCube controller to your PC, if there are ways and means to do it. But I'm just using a regular old Xbox controller for this, and the default mapping works fine. So now, the basic premise of Mario Sunshine is Mario and Peach and a bunch of little mushroom guys, I don't know why, have all gone on a holiday together to the Isle of Del Pantino. Now when they get there, it turns out that Mario is framed. Somebody's going around putting sludge everywhere, like just messing up the place, really destroying it. Mario gets blamed, he's thrown into court, and he's ordered, okay, you have to go around and you have to clean up the mess that you made. That he didn't make, but that, you know, he's been trained for it. That is the premise. So you go around, clean up the mess, trying to restore the world, and happy ever after. <laughs> So now what we've done is we have taken the camera, we've stolen it from where it was, okay, we've made it first person perspective, and we've also hidden the Mario character. Princess, look! On the statue's head! Mario? 
Now there will be a guide at the beginning of the video. Just watch, uh, Mario's gonna explain to Bowser exactly how you get to do this. <laughs> okay, well there's not too much more I can really say about this, just uh, keep an eye out for the Mario Galaxy video coming very very soon. Still some work to be done in that one, there's a lot going on under the Mario Galaxy hood. So yeah, that might be a little bit longer than anticipated, but it's still coming. Okay guys, like, comment, subscribe if you've got any thoughts, queries and critiques, put them down below. If there are any games you'd like us to be horrified in the future, put a comment down below, we'll get back to you probably. And yeah, horrified games out. Yeah, horrified games.